Hey there, Rockstar Kindergarten parents. This Try This app is about eSpark learning. It's free, it's aligned with the Common Core standards, and it reads to your child. So this is great for pre-K or kindergarten pre-readers. So in your Friday folder, you'll get this ticket with your child's username and password. You'll log on to eSpark.app. And once you enter in the username and password, it'll prompt you on how to get started. So let's take a look. Welcome, demo. Let's learn about eSpark together. Okay, it reads to your child and then there's always an arrow for them to click to proceed. Jumbo, I want to share this activity about eSpark with you. Treehouse designer, tap the orange play button. Decorate at least one treehouse. So this is going to um, prompt your child to open into another browser. Now there is an overview video. I've already looked at it, so that's probably why it hasn't shown you, but it tells you what eSpark is all about. Jumbo, I want to share this oh, activity here it about eSpark with you. We're so excited to meet you and teach you about eSpark. Great job on already taking your first quiz. In eSpark, we get to learn lots of new things. We watch videos, we play games, and we record cool videos showing what we've learned. Let's take a look at what eSpark looks like. In eSpark, our monsters will guide us through each part of our quest, and they'll read aloud to us. We can always click on the text like this to hear our monster friends read something. We'll get to try lots of activities that help us learn. Some of the activities are videos, like the one we're watching now. eSpark wants to make sure you're having fun, so after each activity, you can give us a thumbs up if you like it, or a thumbs down if you didn't. I liked this video, so I'll give it a thumbs up. Next, eSpark asks us a question about what we learned. It's important to do our best on these questions. It's how we show the monsters what we've learned. If we get the questions right, we'll collect badges. We can also see how many activities we've completed and how many we have left by looking at the light bulbs. Sometimes in eSpark, we get to play games. eSpark will tell us to click the activity and our game will open. If we're using an iPad, eSpark will tell us to find an app on our iPad to play. When we're playing games, it's important to return to eSpark afterwards. But don't worry, if we forget, eSpark will send you a reminder. Now it's your turn. Have fun playing your games and answering a question. We'll talk soon. Okay, and then your child will go ahead and click that arrow to move on. Jumbo, I want to share this activity about eSpark with you. Treehouse designer, tap the Okay, and we're back button. to the treehouse designer. So, treehouse. your child will click to open in a browser. And this game is called Treehouse Designer. And the first task is um, create a room that would be comfortable. So it's involving vocabulary. So your child would have to pick and drag um, comfortable chairs and hammocks to make the treehouse comfortable. And then what's really neat is at the bottom, you can click more games. And this is off of the PBIS website. Um, it does take you, the app does take you to other websites, but they're all kid friendly. I think that they're all free. Um, so far, what I've noticed is that they are. Um, and then check out all of these games that are just about Arthur. And there's reading, writing, math, vocabulary. Um, it's really fun and neat. So I hope that you enjoyed this Try This app of eSpark. Remember your username and password is in your child's Friday folder this week. And I hope you enjoy and get started with eSpark learning today.